Welcome to Beaconsfield, Disraeli's old seat and where Tony Blair came a cropper and lost his deposit. It's next door to Chesham and Amersham and likely to move into it if the boundary proposals are adopted. I'm here in Beaconsfield to help the local team with a couple of council by-elections we've got coming up. Hopefully might be first ever by-election win for more than a decade here. But in fact, we're next to Sarah Green's seat in Chesham and Amersham, where of course we had that spectacular by-election win last year. And in many ways, this pair of constituencies encapsulates what we need to get right as a party. We need to be winning in those parliamentary held and target seats like Sarah's, but we also need to be making progress in places like here, building up the local government base. That's what I really see as the role of president, being out on the ground, listening, to party members, hearing what help and support they need and making sure the party's organisation is in a fit state to help them win. Oh, so you're both a pair of first-time candidates. Well, that's very impressive for the local party to have got two new first-time candidates. Liz Truss is being so generous to both your campaigns, isn't she? It's just... Well, it's been a really unexpected three years with the coronavirus epidemic, the mesmerising, scary roller coaster of Boris Johnson's premiership, uh, the death of the Queen, yeah, and overhanging it all, the huge disappointment for us as a party of the 2019 election result. And so the way I've approached this very much is to say we need to focus on learning the lessons of 2019 and we need to invest for the long term. So we commissioned an independent election review to tell us what we need to get right in future and publish that so that members can hold everyone in the party, myself included, to account for are we actually delivering on that. And crucially, we also at the start of this parliament made a big investment in expanding our grassroots campaign staff network, helping people at all levels of election all around the country being able to get winning again. And because we had that staff team in place, that's why we were able to do things like win the amazing trio of parliamentary by-elections that we've had in the last year or so. And it's why we've been able to make net gains in two rounds of local council elections in a row. Alongside that, it's important that we improve our record on diversity and inclusion. So we've introduced the Stella programme to provide more support for hopefully the next generation of MPs from ethnic minority backgrounds and underpinning this all made important improvements to how the party is run. But the crucial thing through all of that is about giving us an organisation that best supports Liberal Democrats all around the country to win, because for me, that's been the absolute priority as president. Mark Pack is standing for re-election as our president. He's the first president who has not been an MP or a peer. He's a president who has focused on what this job is really about. Since Mark was elected, he's analysed the challenges set a strategy and delivered. His approach has delivered tangible results, local and by-election victories, more support for local campaigners, a digital transformation. He is, to coin a well-used phrase, a record of action with a promise of more.